The US and UK militaries launched Operation Poseidon Archer during the night of the 22nd of January 2024, and they carried out an intense series of strikes against Houthi targets in Yemen. This will be the eighth round of attack in the last 10 days. In the last 10 days, the US and British warships and fighter jets struck more than 60 targets in 28 locations. These strikes were a response to the Houthi rebels' attacks on international shipping lanes, a threat that had been escalating in recent times. The strikes targeted over eight targets and involved the use of more than 100 precision-guided munitions, hitting radar stations, weapons storage facilities, launch sites, command and control nodes, and production facilities across Yemen. The UK's Ministry of Defence stated that these actions were necessary to degrade the Houthis' capability to continue their attacks. The strikes were carried out from various platforms, including jets, warships, and even a submarine. The UK also conducted precision strikes using Typhoon fighter jets, a testament to their commitment to protecting international waters. In retaliation, a Houthi spokesperson vowed revenge and promised retaliation against American and British forces. While the strikes have certainly hampered the Houthis' ability to threaten merchant shipping, it remains to be seen if they will deter future attacks. Parallel to these events, the UK has announced plans to upgrade the missiles on the HMS Diamond warship. This upgrade is in response to the Houthis' use of explosive drones and anti-ship ballistic missiles. The upgrades will include new warheads and software enhancements to the Sea Viper air defence system, making it the most capable naval air defence system ever developed for the Royal Navy. These upgrades are expected to be fully operational by 2032, further strengthening the Royal Navy's ability to defend against evolving threats in the Middle East. To summarize, the US and UK militaries have taken significant action to counter the Houthi threat in Yemen. This has involved targeted strikes on Houthi facilities and the planned upgrade of the UK's naval air defense system. The global community now watches closely to see how this situation will evolve and what further measures will be taken to ensure the safety of international waters. As we sign off, remember that the seas are not just for exploration and commerce, but are also a strategic frontier where nations must remain vigilant to protect their interests and those of their allies. In the meantime, the chess game of international politics continues, with every move carrying the potential to change the course of history. Tune in next time as we delve into more intriguing military and geopolitical developments. Your viewership is important to us and if you like this video, please subscribe.